What's up? This is certified graphic designer Christopher Michael Cooper coming at you on This Life Is Not Pretend TV. Well, I just got my books in the mail. Um, I wrote a book called Sacred Rip with This Life Is Not Pretend. And it's about my journey from being bullied and put down and harassed in school and becoming obsessed with things in school to becoming an indie major rock star playing music theaters in Denver, Colorado and being on the radio a few times uh, and that journey to sobriety from crystal meth I was a crystal meth addict and that's what this book is about I ordered it on bookpatch.com and I wanted to show you the bookpatch.com quality they're really good quality they turned out to be really nice books so if I were you I would order from thebookpatch.com and if you're going to be self-publishing a book uh, I'm going to show you the books now let's go inside yeah they're really nice quality books so uh, I got really lucky let me go ahead and show you the actual package it came in on the book that's the package that the books came in and this is the book, the actual book that I wrote. As you can see, there's a cover, the spine um, is really nice, the back cover is nice. Uh, you open it up and there's a face cover and all the type and font is really neat in my book. And I wanted to sit here and give you a sneak preview of Sacred Epictus Life Does Not Pretend, my book. And you could buy it at bookpatch.com. Look for Sacred Imprint. This life is not pretend the book. Or go to sacredimprint.com and get yourself a free copy to check out. Alright, let's get started with the sneak preview of my book. Prologue. My name is Christopher Michael Cooper. I died three times from crystal meth and I survived. I changed my life. Here's my story. My name is Christopher Michael Cooper. I was born on August 18, 1988 in Sun Valley, California. When I was only three years old, my mother and father divorced and the state of California took me. My mother got me back from the state of California. We moved to Aurora, Colorado in 1991. Shortly after moving to Colorado, my mother gave birth to my little sister Kathy. When I was a young boy, mother, mother and stepfather worked full-time warehouse jobs. I was babysat by my grandmother still at a trailer park in Aurora, Colorado called Friendly Village. I remember the long days in my grandmother's trailer and the smell of cigarettes along with the cold air from the swamp cooler in the hot summer heat. The very first place me and my family lived in Aurora, Colorado was an apartment complex by Del Mar Circle in Aurora, Colorado. We relocated to a small house in Colorado off Sable and 23rd in Aurora. The first night in our new home on 23rd was wild. At about midnight, one night, my stepfather came running down the hallway telling us kids to get on the floor in the hall because two men were having a gunfight in our front yard. Eventually, I and my family moved to a ranch-style brick home in Aurora, Colorado. I was just a young boy starting kindergarten at a school called Park Lane Elementary School. When we moved into our new home, the year was 1995. In 1995, the Aurora neighborhood we lived in was a straight-up hood. Every night, there would be high-speed police chase on our 